By the way, this is a video about injective protocol. It's an application specific blockchain. It is lightning fast and is optimized for DeFi. It's built to help streamline DeFi onboarding and provide a viable alternative to centralized exchanges. It's the first decentralized exchange focused layer one blockchain for decentralized perpetual swaps, futures, and spot trading. It also helps in unlocking full potential of decentralized derivatives and borderless DeFi. The entire process includes on-chain limit order book management, on-chain trade execution, on-chain market matching, on-chain transaction settlement, and on-chain trading incentives. There are many protocols that are built to cater towards the DeFi ecosystems. So why should developers choose to build on Injective? Or why should we even be more interested in Injective as the major player in DeFi? Because it's also utilizing a next generation Cosmosm smart contract layer. This is going to help in developing flexible DeFi protocols powered by Rust. It also supports interoperability. DApps that can natively access all the most popular assets, bridges, oracles, and wallets. Injective is one of the most interoperable networks in existence because it has connections to leading blockchains such as Ethereum, Cosmos, Solana, Binance Chain, and many others, while it's also still being IBC enabled. One of the good things that I think is going for in Injective is it offers robust liquidity. Injective offers a shared liquidity environment that is supported by a thriving community and integrated with the most prominent financial institutions. It is also the first MEV resistant layer one. When we say MEV, minor or maximal extractable value, and is the profit to be made by including, excluding, or reordering of transactions in a block. So if this is done right, it means there won't be any front running. And it's essential in building decentralized applications that are going to be fair when it comes to trading and when it comes to, you know, building swaps and derivatives and all that. Types of projects you can build are DeFi based like we've talked about. So exchanges, lending, derivatives, savings, insurance, um, all these DeFi specific applications are going to thrive well on Injective. At this point, it's doing about 25,000 TPS. The time to finality is instant. Average fee per transaction is $0.0002. But let's even look at some other greater things, the ecosystem. Injective has built the largest and fastest growing Web3 financial ecosystem. And this is seen through its featured decentralized applications like Helix, Frontrunner, Astroport, and many others. But apart from that, it also has some great ecosystem developments going on. And this can be seen through the blockchains that it supports. It supports BNB chain, Cosmos Hub, Ethereum, almost all the major ones. I didn't see Hedera Hashgraph, and it's something that I hope the team works on because Hedera also has a great ecosystem and is growing very, very fast. In uh, exchanges, it has Binance, Coinbase, Gemini, Hobie, all the big major players. Interoperability, it has Exla, all the other ones, but I hope, I hope at some point Router Protocol joins. All your Ethereum-based wallets are supported. So as individuals, how can you, you know, get involved with the ecosystem? It's easy to do. You can go to Injective Hub and create a wallet or connect to your existing Ethereum-based wallet. So if you click connect, you can easily select the wallet you are using, in my case, or at this moment, let me say MetaMask, we are now connected. And when you go, this is your injective wallet. And you can also see the Ethereum wallet that you already have. So this is your injective wallet. And now you are part of the ecosystem. So you can do a lot of things here. You can bridge your uh, assets. You can bridge it from Ethereum to injective. You can bridge it from injective to um, Ethereum and all other major blockchains as well. If you stake, you will have 16.81% APR. At this moment, 33.8%, which represents 33.8 million tokens are staked. You can also get involved with governance. You will need 500 INJ. If you come here, it's great to get involved. And also there are other major players in the ecosystem like Astroport, Frontrunner, Helix. So through the Wormco integration, um, Solana assets are now live on Injective, bringing forth new forms of composability to the entire Web3 ecosystem. Injective will serve as the primary layer one gateway for Solana assets to enter the broader Cosmos ecosystem, unlocking a diverse array of new DeFi primitives and opportunities. Also, there are many developments going on in Injective right now, and it has integrated PITH to launch institutional grade testnet markets. And not so long ago, Galaxy joined the ecosystem as a validator. Babylon testnet integrates Injective, bringing Bitcoin security to the ecosystem. And Istroport launches on Injective. A whole lot of things are happening. Get in touch with the leading institutions and VCs supporting 
decentralized applications built on Injective. And this is supported with 150 million ecosystem initiative. The Injective Ecosystem Venture Group is a group of prominent institutions and venture funds that have come together to build uh, the future of Web3 and DeFi, especially in Injective Ecosystem. And this include Pantera, Kraken, Jump, IDG, KuCoin, and many others. I want to also talk to you about one of the projects that we are all looking forward to with. Project X is a next generation DeFi protocol that is, is comprised of two primary components, automated strategy vaults for marketing making and passive yield generation, and also a one-click launchpad for fundraising and listing. The trading vaults acts as an automated market maker, AMM, and this is done without any impermanent loss risk. The one-click launchpad will also allow any developer to raise money and instantly list it with just a single click. And the launch part will enable anyone to create various forms of decentralized launches. So there are many things that you can do with Project S and it's all going to be based on the injective ecosystem. You know, so for instance, you can create a new token using the launch part, fundraise for the project with a wide array of decentralized auction formats, instantly list the token, bootstrap the initial liquidity for the token using the automated trading vows. Also, you can reach a massive audience of users within Injective with a direct gateway to the interchain. It has been in works for over a year and it's been built by the team at Injective Labs. The team is, the CEO is Eric Chen and it has like 40 team members. They have experiences from Amazon, Kraken, Tesla, Crypto.com. Project S is going to bring the most sophisticated technologies from Wall Street to an entire decentralized and permissionless network. So think of it as the Wall Street of DeFi. Injective is a native token and stakeholders can govern and decide the future of the protocol. Injective is trading at $4.18 right now with a fully diluted market cap of 412. So 10x from here, we give it a market cap of 4.2 or 4.12 mil, uh, billion. But I believe in the next bull market, Injective is going to have three diggers, you know, so a minimum of $100. And with a fully diluted market cap, $100 will give it a market cap of 10 billion, fully diluted. And with the growth in the ecosystem, that's going to be possible. So guys, this is what I wanted to talk to you about. So what does the future look like? Well. We can take a look at what happened in 2022 to give us an idea of what is more likely to happen this year because the team is very hard at work and they've been at work from the get-go. So over 140 million transactions was processed last year and 22 million blocks produced on mainnet with zero downtime, offering the lowest transaction fees of 0 0.0002 and raising a new $40 million round from the likes of Jump Crypto, Bravin Howard and, you know, also, the native token is now supported and traded on all major exchanges, Coinbase, Binance, all major exchanges are supporting Injective right now. So, you know, looking at this growth, I think 2023 and beyond is going to be massive, especially as the ecosystem is even growing more. And with the introduction of Project X, I think is going to be the best DeFi option out there. And the fact that interoperability is a core part of Injective is, is going to mean that traders um, looking for financial instruments in other ecosystem can easily migrate to and from the injective ecosystem. By the way, it's also supported by Mark Cuban, backed by Mark Cuban and Binance. So guys, yes, this is all I wanted to talk to you about. If I have to make a prediction for the price, well, if the entire crypto grow like we are, are anticipating, if the growth is big like we are anticipating, then yes, trade against for injective is possible. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, please take a moment, subscribe and hit on the notification bell. It will help my channel very well and it will cost you nothing. And also please like and comment to help with the algorithm because I think injective is great and many people have to be aware of it. So like, comment and let's spread the word.